Well, hello, my fellow car modelers. How are you doing today? I am just going to do a little shout out today to a couple of aftermarket companies I'd like to show you because uh, we got some old aftermarket companies, some fairly recent aftermarket companies, and we got a decal company that is coming back. And I just want to give a little shout out to them. And I'm probably going to start doing kind of on a regular basis a video like this, just given all of the aftermarket companies out there. They're just usually one person or a couple people, a family that are really working hard to just try to bring great product to all of us to make our hobby better. And they all deserve shout outs, man, because they're not big corporate companies. They're not making a lot of money. They're not getting rich off of this. Let me tell you, trust me on account of, well, I'm one of them. But we love what we do. We're passionate about it. And I just want to give these shout outs to these companies. They deserve it. So here I'm going to start. I'm going to take these off right now. I'm going to start with ProTech. I have been a fan of ProTech for many years, as many of you regular viewers know. I'm personal friends with Charlie, and how I got to be that way with him is the fact that I used to be a dealer about 14 years ago, and we struck up a very good trusting friendship and when I started my channel, I was going to definitely give him shout outs because I do believe that his detail product is the best. Go check out that video right there to really get into this stuff, but I'm gonna show you real quick. First of all, his braided line and his spark plug wires, second to none. I, I will, I literally, when I started getting more of this stuff from him, I gave away like all of my other uh, braided lines because nobody does braided lines like him if you can just take a look at those not as tight they stay round even down to the thinnest of the thin but another thing is if you go look at that video so I'm not ready to take these out yet uh, there is such detail in how he had these produced for model cars it's not just something that looks like it would work in model cars he actually engineered and had these produced for model car use and it's crazy how you look at some of the braided line and you can really see it in the bigger ones like if you're familiar with earls i believe it's earls but some of the companies do you see how there's like these little stripes in there like the real stuff yeah, these things look excellent. Of course, there's some detail wire he has. It's a lot of stuff. Go over there to ProTech. You, know, you can find them online. Easy to find. You just hit ProTech model cars or models, really, and you'll find it. And, man, I've been trying to get Charlie to come on to my show. I love having conversations with him. I just talked to him on the phone the other day. Great guy. Super, super dude. And look at that little tiny valve stems he's just you know all kinds of stuff there's resin stuff there's 3d printed stuff there's this white metal stuff like these caps and that t right there for doing like an oil line or a fuel line there's some uh machined uh hexes there right there you could use them for a lot of different things fittings or nuts and bolts or whatever speaking of nuts and bolts look at this photo etch nuts and bolts he's got I've never used these, and I was looking at these close the other day, and I'm going to go, ah, I think i got to try these out. Those could be really helpful on a lot of things. And again, just tons of photo etch, too, the just gauge clusters. This is like just a small portion of the stuff he does. And these are the coolest hood pins because they're just one piece. If you're just building that quick model, you don't want to get too heavy into the detail. These are... You know, like especially NASCAR builders, I suggest getting these because these are an excellent quick replacement for the ones that come on the chrome tree on all the Salvino's JR models, 80s cars that used to be the monogram NASCAR race cars, man. Excellent replacement for really any of them. That's Pro Tech. Go check them out. You, you, you're not going to miss it. I mean, he did pick, you know, a loud color, I guess. <laughs> check it out. Protex excellent. So, next company I want to show you. We've got 
a company that's coming back okay this guy was a decal maker just want to build a model car is what the name of the company is but they go by jwtbm for short i tell you about eh, somewhere in the middle o's or something really doing well putting out a lot of decal sets and they were top quality and they're making a comeback and I think it's worthy to be known. Check out this, uh, especially for now, Salvino's JR models with their uh, next-gen cars. So lots of times, JW, TBM, they kind of focus on the modern cars at this point. And very good quality decal sheet. These are printed at Cartograph, so they are high quality. They're the same quality as most of your decals out today this goes on the budweiser mustang this is a pretty cool set right here the, the detail is neat i got a couple other ones to show you here real quick this is one of their old sets from back then so this is you know back the time it was a modern car but now it's uh it's kind of a throwback now so just check this out look at the quality those graphics could have been just this is one of the old sheets so it's like that so this could be new old stock but this was back then and he was knocking it out of the ballpark definitely this is probably one of the old sheets actually and here's the last new one that i got that uh, they're putting out and yes it does say printed by cartograph look at the wow look at that that's some detail in this this sheet comes with like three sheets you got I guess different 18s for the different uh, tracks or configurations that this car would have ran. Yeah, that is super cool, the M&M Toyota. That could be a really cool one. Eh, it's giving me some ideas. Anywho, super nice decals. I don't doubt that they will go on very well because, again, they are cartograph printed see that and look at the decal placement sheet that's top-notch super cool super super cool stuff and and let's just take a quick look at the Budweiser layout there you go pretty darn cool stuff and that is JWTBM just want to build a model car what a name what a mouthful but you're not going to forget that one so there you go go check that out i'm not sure if he has a website up yet i'm sure if you put that into the your uh, google machine there it'll probably pop up on the interwebs for you all right i got one more to show you this is a really cool item really highly suggest this company we've got vcg resins and uh, josh is a sponsor over there vcg resins they sponsor our podcast the scale model car podcast and uh so i get some cool items from josh every every month and he sent me you know scale speed garage design don't forget chris either go check out scale speed garage that place right there but look at these i'm kind of looking forward to doing some test fitting we got some radial drag slicks those are pretty interesting. What's going on with that? That is neat. Look at the detail on that. So we've got that, and we've got these really cool, super cool, multi-piece wheels that go in like, uh, oh, geez, I cannot remember. <laughs> I can't remember what they're called. Where's the centers here? Let's look. Did I take them out? Did I throw them? There they are. Look at in the little bag. There's the centers for the rear. And that's kind of cool where they're multi-piece like this. I know it's a lot has to do with it'll print a lot easier, but even your cap is separate. So what you can do is paint everything separate because lots of times, you know, that cap would be a silver or, or an aluminum spun, whatever the heck. And you'd have that ring could be a certain color and the wheel could be a certain color and the center would probably be gold and it fits right in there and it looks like man you've got a versatility here you can make any offset you want 
see that yeah you can slide that center anywhere you want to have whatever offset you want and then here very cool front runners I like those ring there for it and you have your center right there put in the comments below I cannot remember what this style I believe they were done by weld there's no doubt about that I just cannot remember what they called these but those are super cool very popular wheels and drag racing this is really cool for a small tire car I've got an idea for this thing I'm gonna have to do some shoving wheels and tires underneath bodies to see what well hey let's do this you could always drag race a Porsche right dun, dun, dun. yeah that is super cool man that is really cool this is excellent product and the coolest thing probably the most coolest thing about VCG resins is you receive them in a miniature pizza box look I got a sticker we got a couple stickers that he sent me and here what the heck let's do all that little added bonus very nice detail and those uh, triangular Edelbrock it's even got the Edelbrock in there those super cool air cleaners man those were really popular back in the 80s I remember everybody having those anyways uh, just go check out the website VCG resins or should I right here hey there we go easy 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 there we go vcgresins.com Josh will hook you up so with that being said we've got all these great companies along with my other friends here just want to build a model excellent decals cool stuff and all this does is just help us do that one thing that we love because we're into model cars why there's only one answer cuz they're fun here's the producers